for getting more insight into how Mexicans feel their president is handling crime across the country. Take a look at the survey from Pew back in May. People are pretty much evenly split on whether they like the job Peña Nieto is doing to fight crime. They are similarly split on the economy and corruption. And as for whether he's making progress on the fight against drug traffickers, the majority now feel that he is either losing ground or that the situation is the same as it was in the past. I asked Octavio Rodriguez of the University of San Diego how Nieto's policies are or aren't having an effect. Uh, this new strategy uh, set by, by President Peña Nieto was uh, focused in first made it uh, reduce violence, uh, target uh, individuals of organized crime, and also to reduce certain crimes which uh, are the most harmful to Mexican population. As of now, one of those uh, crimes, of course, was homicide. And as of now, uh, it seems like homicide rates in Mexico are decreasing that said, it's important to uh, recall that during the last months of the Calderon administration and last year of the Calderon administration, the homicides, uh, the homicide rates were also decreasing. So it is, it's, it's uncertain if these um, decreasing homicides is a result of the Peña Nieto new strategy or it's just a um, a reflex of what it was happening at the end of the Calderon administration. And we must say it as well that other crimes such as homicide, such as uh, kidnapping and extortion are on the rise. What is it going to take to root out the influence of gangs across Mexico? Do you think this is a reasonable or even achievable goal? Uh, so far, I don't think it's achievable in the short term. Uh, we should know that uh, now that the, more, the, the competition is so uh, high and there are a lot of uh, small organizations and prices are growing and uh, governmental efforts are um, higher to dismantle those organizations, this uh, former uh, crime syndicates, this uh, organized crime groups are now venturing into new criminal activities such as kidnappings and extortions. And that will make more difficult since uh, it's less predictable and, of course, it's harder to uh, prevent such crimes. All right. Mr. Octavio Rodriguez, we appreciate your time. Thank you so much for joining us here on the show. Thank you very much.